Hello, and welcome to my initial foray into the hard career mode in Kerbal Space Program 1.0. What you're about to see is the abridged version of a Twitch live stream I did on April 27th. I'm going to continue live streaming career mode on Twitch for the foreseeable future, and then editing the streams and adding post commentary where necessary to post them on YouTube. I'm cutting out a bit of the original commentary here on YouTube because you're missing the audience comments, but I'll retain as much of it as possible. Please do stop by on Twitch to participate. I don't have a set schedule yet, so I'll just be streaming whenever I get the chance. Each live stream will end up as multiple ep episodes here on YouTube. Now, since it is a live stream, the video bitrate is below what I usually do on YouTube. I'm recording with OBS instead of Fraps. Also, since I'm going to be streaming in the afternoon my time, Pacific Standard Time generally, uh, you will hear my computer fan working extra hard to keep my computer cool, except if I'm recording on the weekends. So that's unavoidable. I usually record my videos early in the morning to avoid that. So here you see me looking at the new tech tree for the first time. I did watch some of the KSP uh, streams over the weekend to get a feel for 1.0, but I didn't catch everything by any stretch of the imagination. There's a lot to cover. I have not live streamed much. In fact, it is basically my first attempt at it, except for some shuttle re-entry testing. But I decided it might be a better way to help new players with the game, as well as to solicit advice from veterans. And I know you guys want more audience interactions, so this is a great way to do that. Anyway, so uh, here let's uh, cut back into the commentary I did during the live stream. And so here I take it away with my live commentary. Okay, so standard SRB pod parachute configuration and oh I should pick up some contracts shouldn't I launch our first vessel let's pick that up escape the atmosphere not just yet gather scientific data from Kerbin anywhere okay well that will be fine alright now we're all set okay so I think we've got the contracts we need to launch this what's that oh engineers report oh, okay so that's how that works out show severity um, design checklist oh unused monopropellant resource thank you for reminding me engineer report yes I don't need that I'm not great at naming things of course oh crew uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, Jeb first and then Val Valentina okay uh, Jeb can you do SAS yes you can throttle is up okay my throttle is working good on the joystick of course I had to reset the joystick configuration. I've only been copying the configurations from version to version until now so I had to redo everything. Alright let's see where you go Jeb. Holy mackerel. 10 G's. Oh I should have... Uh, well we're, we're gonna be done soon. Alright. Okay first... world's first... okay tell me what, what was that again? Okay speed record shattered 450. Very good. Wow, I didn't even know we were going to get that sort of thing. All right, let's trash that for now. Uh, oh, uh, there are a lot of speed records. Uh, altitude record, speed record, speed record, launch first vessel. Okay. All right, just wait until we head back down here. We might uh, hit some more altitude records. Oh, uh, we, we were supposed to set a distance record of uh, 5,000 meters from KSC. We'll have to go a little bit more horizontal next time, Jeb, but we'll have to... We'll have to tune down the thrust on this SRB beforehand. Gather scientific data. All right, can we get a crew report? Okay, we can't transmit right now. Let's just keep that data. Should put some goo containers on. Okay, we're headed back down. Let's just go with the parachute. Okay, what's that? Uh, come on. All right, we got that altitude record fine much much reputation some funds all good okay and uh, usually when we did these SRB launches the first launch of each time they exploded the SRBs on touchdown because it's going down so fast but uh, with the smaller SRBs now that lands nice and neat okay 11.1 Okay, a thousand funds back. Jeb got one experience. Let's unlock what we can unlock here. Basic rocketry sounds good. And yeah, engineering 101 sounds good. Let's take a look at the contracts. 
Okay, so we need to do this. We need to set some sort of distance record. Uh, we need to escape the atmosphere? Sure. Let me hold off on uh, orbiting. Well, I mean, what are we going to do without it, right? Okay, let's see what we can build. I don't know if this is wise at all. Maybe I should just try this without any further stages. Just one stage full of this. And a decoupler to save Jeb. Okay. Throttle up, SAS on. Okay, uh, thrust limiting should be adequate. We don't have too much. I don't think we're going to get to space. What I want to do is hit the distance record this time. Okay, nice, more controllable ascent. I'm going to start the turn immediately. Just a little tilt in, and we'll see what the aerodynamics feel like. So, first experience with the 1.0 aerodynamics here. And I'm going to do probably a very normal, far-like ascent here. Okay, we are definitely past Mach 1 now. And maximum dynamic pressure should be around here somewhere. If there are any distance records to cover, we are probably going to cover them. But I'll tell you what, we don't want to face re-entry heating. So I'm going to cut it out. Let's see, where are we? Okay, we're probably going to have a space-like apoapsis pretty soon. Yeah. Let me cut it out there. I want to have a chance to slow down on the way down. Okay. Uh, I should have had Val go up at this time. We'll have Val go to, uh, be the first in orbit. I think that'll be a fair, fair deal. Got two pilots, gotta get them both adequate experience. Okay, uh, we should be over water now. So crew port should be different, or upper atmosphere is fine. Uh, we can transmit the data. How's our... Ooh, electric charge bad. Okay, we can't transmit too much more data like this. Okay, so we are in space. We've got that contract fulfilled. Come on. I don't usually even look at my contract fulfillments here. Escape the atmosphere. There we go. And on the way back down now. So going for a thousand meters per second, I'll dump the rest of the fuel, burn it up, and then release. I mean, it's possible we could recover all of this, but let's not risk Jeb so early on. There's a lot more Delta V than I thought we had left. Well, now it's all aerodynamics, not heating. Do I dare to try and splash down with this? Okay, well, n no, probably not. Wow, things are getting bad. Okay. Yep, probably not a good idea to try, try bringing that whole thing down there. We should try recoverable stuff pretty soon. It's going to be a big benefit to that. So this is hard mode, so obviously no reverts and all that. And our resources are not as, as abundant as in other modes. We weren't too far from orbit, actually. Okay, recover. Okay. Uh, wow, we've got a lot of funds considering how little we started off with. Alright, so orbit. Let's just get on with it. Okay, calculator out. Let me just quickly check what the kind of delta V we have here is. Wow, 280. Wow, they, they really brought those down, huh? 280 and 300 vacuum. Well, that's pretty easy to do. And... Okay, this thing's got 2,500. 
That's still a long ways off. But then the atmosphere is thinner, so I guess we'd need about 3,500. We need a heat shield if we got to put it all the way up into orbit. Okay, looks like we have to unlock some technologies. You know, let's just keep that. Heat shield. All right, 15 science. We're not there yet. Ha. Okay. Do we still get to do the launch pad science? Let me check. Crew report. I'm just going to keep the data. I don't think we have too much electric charge to transmit stuff. Okay, so now EV report. Flying over Kerbin Shores as it used to be. Keep data. Board. B is now board. All right. And so we stored that. Let's get down. Space let go. Walk around. Give me an EV report. Okay, keep that data. And I'm not going to do any more. I think that gets us our, our uh, 15. So I'm just going to recover. Okay, so we researched that. We get the heat shield. I, I might as well just... Well, I don't know. The small struts I can wait on. Service bay. I, I want that for the goo containers and all. Okay, that looks like a decent deal. How heavy is the heat shield? Okay, so... Point 0.3. Alright. Ooh. What's with that? Okay. That's... Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's got a fairing on it. That's fine. Okay. I was worried that it would... Uh, there was a node issue there. Maybe this will get us into orbit, maybe not. With the heat shield, our efficiency is not quite as good. Could could do with uh, extra flea, I guess. Let's shove a flea in there. Well, actually, maybe just two of these would be better. Okay. Just for safety's sake, I'm going to limit it to, let's say, 90. Uh, 90 would be about right. Hoo-wee. This looks like a bad idea. No, no, no. You go there. Okay. <laughs> Shall we put Val on? Well, I have to stage, I know. Um, Shall we put Val on this thing? Seems like a monumentally bad idea. All right, we'll, we'll try and be careful. We'll try and be careful. I, we don't have launch clamps yet, do we? Okay, let's try this. Okay, Valentina, your first flight, 1.0. Under my jurisdiction, ooh, the, solid, the SRBs are burning out a lot faster than I thought they would. Okay. Beginning the pitch maneuver. Okay, stay prograde, and next. All right. I don't think we're going to get you all the way to orbit, Val. Okay... We are now past the speed of sound. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wow, I didn't deviate very much from prograde, and it's uh, it uh, gives me this sort of thing, huh? Okay, come on, hold it, Val, hold it. Show us what you got here. Yeah, it wasn't very far off. So I don't know what the delta v requirement to get into orbit is. Is part of the problem here. I'm lowballing it right now. I wish this would just automatically pop up off. Okay, well, we're we're getting somewhere, Val. Definitely getting somewhere. You don't have much electric charge to maneuver though. Okay, I think we can start the rest of this burn now. Oh, it's Juddering and stuttering and... Okay, let's just turn down the G-forces here. Okay, how close did we get? Pretty darn close. Periapsis, 20 kilometers. I think she'll be coming back down just fine. Not at the KSC, obviously. 
All right, not bad. Sort of an orbit. We really don't need the rest of this anymore. Uh, safe to dump it, right? Should do. Okay, heat shield is ready to go. Whoa, reaction wheel power is a lot more than I'm used to. Plenty of ablator. All right, bring Val back down. Let's see what kind of drag we get. I don't know. We're at a 20 kilometer periapsis on a... I don't think it counts it as an orbit, but we're basically in orbit. It doesn't count it as an orbit, though. Because it's partly in the atmosphere. Actually, uh, when, when Yuri Gagarin went up, uh, one end was still uh, experiencing atmospheric drag. They did that so that he'd automatically come down after 10 days, just in case. So, just in case he didn't have the, the retrofire rockets working, he'd still come back down. Unfortunately, he ended up in a higher orbit than they wanted, so he would actually take 20 days to come back down. So, I don't know. Let's find out about drag. I should go to the... I don't know if the Alt-F12 menu applying that stuff physics... Uh, display aero forces in flight may be good. Okay, re-entry heat is confirmed. Okay. Any indication of ablation? No. Well, no, yes, there is. We are ablating. You think they were cheating? Yeah, maybe. Actually, you know what? Uh, come to think of it, uh, I, I think we should probably... Uh, test things out and see how it works instead of getting the numbers. Yeah, I, I've got... I, I turned on one of the arrows. Maybe I should not do that. I'm all for experimentation. It's not like I'm new to the game, so... Maybe I should just uh, use what I know and see if I can do it without any of that data. Now, is it just generally okay to open the parachute, or... I'm just gonna wait until we're below the speed of sound, just for my own sanity. Okay, let me let me turn off that indication. Alright. We'll, we'll make it a little bit of a mystery. Okay, full parachute deployment brings us to the expected velocities below 6 meters per second. A blader we used... We used, was that, 72 units of a blader? Probably that heat shield's enough to bring us back from the moon and even greater things than that, so no worries there. Ooh, big splash. All right, recover. Okay, so we didn't make orbit, so they didn't give us much for that. We... We didn't get very much funds back, actually, because we were so far away from the KSC. But at least Valentina got her first experience. Now let's take a look at the contracts. Ooh, we've got a lot of stuff here. Ferry a VIP safely to her destination. What? Collect the fare. Uh, I didn't realize we did such things. Visual surveys. Test at the launch site. That's pretty darn easy. I don't want to do all these, but we all we've got is part tests. Okay, well, uh, fine, we'll do this one. Uh, but we want to get into orbit as well. Launch site, orbit. I guess we'll we'll use that SRB. Kerbin launch site. Okay, I I guess we can use this SRB to help us get into a real orbit, maybe. Suppose we could just. We, sh we can add more fuel to this stage. This is getting a little bit ridiculous, though. Okay, that's 10 tons. Let's go to 75-ish. Okay, we've got one there. And the big SRB. Big SRB sounds like Jeb's job. Even though I said Valentina should be first order, we, we, we really got her up there. So let's try Jeb this time. And 
Oh, height is too much. Okay, well, we'll lose one of those tanks. That is pretty darn tall. What kind of thrust do we have? We have... Okay, so 27 tons worth. That should be fine. Okay. Alpha 4. Okay, SAS on. Tell me, contract. Okay, you've, you've got it. All right, we're going to be testing it right now. Throttle up. And... Go, Jeb. <laughs> these, these, these effects are a little bit... I know, they, they, they sort of remind me of ghosts. They're very ghosty. Okay, we're on our way. Not too sure we'll get into orbit this time either. But at least we got that uh, that test fulfilled. We could have tested it without any fuel or something like that. We didn't have to. We didn't have to light it and all. But while we have it, we might as well use it. Perhaps if we don't flip out this time, we will be able to make it. Ah, uh, just as I say that. No, no, come on. Ah, uh, complete the flip. Complete the flip. Ah. Uh, okay, Jeb. I don't think this is going to work out. Wow. Uh, you know, it is a little bit... <laughs> it's a little bit harder than far on the, on the upside. A little bit easier on the downside. I'm trying to use the thrust to turn, but it's not working very well. Well, we're not getting anywhere like this. Uh, we're going to abort, Jeb. Come back down, please. Okay, anyway, as long as we get some contract fulfilled, I am uh, I consider it a success. And, of course, we bring our Kerbal back. Okay. So, for those who don't know, I do generally tend to want to get my Kerbals back. I'm very adamant about it, in fact. I guess we could have Jeb get out and do, uh, do an EVA on the water. This, is this new? Oh, this is new too. Keep that data. Next time up we should send up some goo or something. Okay Jeb, let's see about this whole water thing. What do you think? <laughs> okay, uh, try and get up would you please? Okay, keep that data. And I don't think you're gonna have an easy time getting into that pod, are you? You can't really swim underneath it. Can you knock it somehow? No. Okay, let's not waste time. I'm gonna recover you, and then we'll recover the pod separately. Okay, so we got Jeb. Let me quickly get the rest of what we left there. Yes, got it. Recover. And 2.2 signs from that. Okay. I don't think we can do much with what we've got yet. Hello, signs. 10 only. No. None of these bring us too much science. Lots of VIPs. But also no signs from that. Okay, let's get some goo containers and try and get to orbit again. Maybe the best thing to do is just to load this up completely. Maybe we can stage... It's not really very efficient. Single stage... Would a single stage to orbit system with this engine work? 16 tons. Can boost this up to its full thrust. Uh... Uh... Hmm... Okay, well let's let's see if this is a single stage to orbit system in KSB 1.0. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, Valentina, it's your turn. Okay, go. Looks 
so rather lofty yeah no kidding um, and so my mantra has to be stay at prograde stay at prograde we'll tilt a little here hold on let me just get that that much tilt is fine let's lean lean east and start just follow it down follow it down okay I feel like just the height of it is wanting to get oh it's 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 no 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 okay yeah the height of it just wants to get away from me it is it's too much it's too much I think we've okay so aerodynamics woohoo <laughs> oh man Okay, Valentina. I think <laughs> Valentina's still excited. You're not going to orbit Valentina. Maybe you should look a little bit disappointed. Okay, um, yeah. I can't do orbit with this. Alright, off it goes. Alright, so definitely need multiple staging just to avoid the whole... Well, what happened there? Maybe we should go inland. Maybe we should just uh, land land our kerbals at locations where they can do EVA reports inland. Grasslands and all that. Okay, recover.